Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for tuning in. This is Ambi. Today, let's talk about Python list comprehensions. So that is, uh, let's go ahead and define a range first. Uh, range 0 to 9 is the same as range 9 anyway. So then if I do for i in range 9, print i, as you can see, it contains 0 to zero till nine or zero to eight okay so then so let me go ahead and do this num says list of range nine here yeah? that is convert range to a list i'm going to print out the nums as well as you can see now we have a list of zero till eight uh, till nine zero to eight Let's uh, create an empty list here. Yeah? That is SQ equals this empty list. Now, what I want to do here is for n in nums, yeah, SQ dot append. This is how uh, normally you will do if you want to convert, if you want to calculate the square of each element of a list. Now nums is a list. I want to calculate the square of each of the elements and I want to populate that into this empty list called SQ, which is a short abbreviation that I have given for a square. So let me document something here. Iterate through the list and list dot append x appends x to the list yeah so sq as you can see 0 1 4 9 16 25 36 49 64 are the squares of 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 is there an easy way of doing it how can you achieve that with list comprehension n star n for n in nums. Hmm. As you can see, this produces the same. 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64. So, this uh, is more um, concise and readable. It generates a new list of processed uh, members. Okay, so, yep. Mm hmm Knocked down. By the way, the original list remains unchanged, okay? So. If I print out nums here, as you can see, the original list remains the same. Let me create another list, ls1, list range 0 to 3, ls2, list range mm, three to six now if i print ls1 uh, ls2 ls1 ls2 now let's do something with this list okay what we want to do here is let's say Let's calculate the sum x plus y for x in ls1 for y in ls2. 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6, 5, 6, 7. So what happened? So first it adds 0 plus 3 is 3, right? 1 plus 3 is 4, 2 plus 3 is 5, right? Then it uh, then it does the same thing to another number. Zero plus four is four. One plus four is five. Two plus five, right? So it keeps on going. I mean, two plus five is seven. So I'm jumping ahead. One plus five is six. Two plus three, five. Two plus four, six. Two plus five, seven. Adds each element of list one to each element of list two. So now you can 
also go ahead and create a set of tuples. Let's go ahead and do that. Let me copy paste this instead of this. Mm, I'll do this, yeah? Let's see what we get. 03040513142324425. That is what we got. It paired each number of list one with each number of list two, or each member, each element, however you, you want to call it. Let's do something else, yeah? X plus Y. What should I do? Okay, for X in LS1, for y in ls2 if x modula minor equals zero now let's see hmm, what did i do wrong here oh, okay ls2 sorry my bad okay here we go four five six five six seven x plus five for x in ls1 for y in ls2 if only if okay only if the reminder of x and y is not zero but as you can see if you do zero plus i mean zero by the reminder of zero three is a zero zero four zero five so whatever that has to do with zero is gone and then you have four five uh six right four five six and then five six seven these so the first three numbers are not there because the reminder of them with zero is not zero. Or if you do the other way around, take this invalid syntax. Where is invalid syntax? Okay this comes up and if I say okay I'm sorry not equals to zero now x plus y for x in ls1 for y in ls2 if the reminder of x and y is zero so only three four five we get we don't get four five six five six seven so it's night 11 33 here I'm a bit tired so forgive me about typos uh, now let's do something else. What else can I show you guys? Okay, let me first go ahead and define another list here. Range minus four to four. And and then I will print out nums here. What do we get? I have minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three. Yep. Let's double the values, eh? double the values. That is n star two for n in nums. What happens? Minus eight, minus six, minus four, minus two, zero, two, four, six. There we have it. What if we want to filter out the negative numbers? Filter out the negative items escape caps m enter all right and i can do that with let me control a control c nums right the same thing i want to add an if condition if n is greater than or equal to zero let's see what happens there zero two four six minus 8 minus 6 minus 4 minus 2 are gone what if we want to apply like a function or method okay apply a function or method to a list yeah that is shift caps m shift enter now let's say first get the absolute value yep so that is abs or anti-log breaking system now that means absolute abs n for n in nums yep four three two one zero one two three all right now let's say get the octal value let's say 
let's see then say OCT n for n in nums there we go we got the octal values of them let me define another list here let's take some strings shall we mm, I always resort to this Superman Aquaman okay then yes, no, let's add flash Wonder Woman now if I said type JL it says it's a list okay that is a list if a string ends with SH then let's make it uppercase here yeah? if a string come on if a string ends with sh make it uppercase so how can i do that i dot upper for i in j l if i dot ends with man Okay, I might have done some spelling mistake here. Oops, sh. Oh, upper spelling wrong. There we go. Huh, only flash ends with sh. Okay, rest of them end with man, even woman. Now let's remove spaces or add spaces uh, around strings. Yeah. Um, okay, let me go ahead and do this instead. Um, let's say you have given some string like this. Yep. Okay, I got flash, right? So what if I want to remove spaces now? Remove spaces around strings. I dot strip for I in jail. So it's going to strip them off their spaces. Yep. So multiple four iterations. Let's do that. Yeah. I mean, I did um, one four here. What if I want to have multiple four, right? So let us take, okay, it's too big of a heading. I think that's okay. Uh, flatten a list, yeah. What is flattening a list? Let me show you that. Let me first define a list, I would say NS1 ns1 stands for here nested list 1 comma 2 2 comma 3 4 comma 5 6 comma 7 type ns1 there we go so that is a list use for two times to flatten a two level nested list. This is what we want to do. Mm, okay, here we go. Num for element in NS1. Okay. For num in element. I think that's it, yeah. Num for element in NS1 for num in element. So num for element in NS1. So that will, this element will be this. Then again, for num in element. So that is one, two, right? R to be more clear. Okay. LS for 
now I'll do num for ls okay in ns1 for num in ls yep there you go one two two three four five six seven right so one two two three four five six seven it flattened the list what if there are like three layer or multi-layer nested list then you have to go a bit deeper you have to add one more for you know for statement in that list now let us do the same with multiple if conditions yeah so multiple if conditions escape caps m enter all right here we go use for three times to flatten a three level nested list hmm? okay so first we want to define a three level nested list n as l1 yeah i will do then in this list i will do one more that is one comma two I will do two comma three, yeah. Then I will do here. I'll take this. Then I'll do this. I'll do two comma three. Then comma four comma five. Yeah, that you can see. So these two lists are in this list. Right, again, the same way these two lists are in this list. Let's go ahead and see how we can solve this out. Yeah? Hmm. Yep, here num for element in NS1. Okay, I think I did multiple if conditions okay i wanted to show you multiple if conditions but i am doing a level three here why am i doing that okay let me change that here three layer i'll just not need it i guess Okay, for NS1, then for num in element, for num in element. Basically, what I did is num for element in NS1, for num in element, for num in element. If there is one more level, just copy paste this one more time. That's it. Only for the first instance, right? You will uh, go inside this, and then every time, all you have to do is just pick this thing. Right, for num in element, for num in element, keep on repeating the same thing uh, for each level you want to go deeper, right? So now <laughs> let me go ahead and put multiple if conditions. I had messed up my notes here, so yep. Multiple if conditions. Oops. Here we go. Um, let's pick a problem. If a list is n level nested, uh, then use for n times to flatten it. Yep, makes sense. So let me take this out. DD. There we go. Now let's say, hmm, okay, multiple if conditions, right? List of numbers from the range 99, which are 
divisible by 2 and 3 that is x for x in range 99 if x percentage 2 equals 0 if x uh, percentage or modulus whatever you want to call 0 so get all the numbers from range 99 if they are divisible by 2 and the remainder is 0 and they are also divisible by 3 and the remainder is 0 so I have two conditions right and if both of these conditions are met then retain those numbers from the range 99 0, 6, 12, 18, 24. I mean, you can uh, calculate them and see whether the reminder of them is 0 or not. Uh, reminder or modulus of 2. With all these numbers, it will be 0. Modulus of all of these numbers with 3 will be 0. So that is why you got that. Let's look at another one. A list of numbers from the range 99 which are divisible by 2 and 5 4 5 right let me take the same thing here I'll do two and five okay here I'll put five now 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. There we go. Let's calculate another one. Um, okay. In the range, um, let's say 9. If x less than 5, then multiply it with 10. And if not, then multiply it with 3. I think it's a bit more interesting than what we did. x star 10 if x less than 5. Else x star 3 for x in range 9. Here we go. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 15, 18, 21, 24. So if x is less than 5 in range 9, as you can see, um, till 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 have all been multiplied with 10. And since 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 are not less than 5, they have been multiplied with 3. 5 into 3, 15. 6 into 3, 7 into 3, 8 into 3. Of course, in range 9, you will not have 9. It, it will be 0 till 9. So it is 0 to 8, right? So that, I think that is all I had for list comprehension. If I miss something, please do let me know. I will probably include that in one of my next uh, videos. So thank you for tuning in. You have a great one. Take care.